starting tomorrow. Anyone 16 and older will be able to get their vaccine here in the state of Texas. Simultaneously, we are seeing a rollout of about a million doses of the COVID-19 vaccine to the Lone Star State. El Paso specifically can expect about 18,000 doses, 6,000 of those heading the way of the city. Those will be Moderna. 5,800 Pfizer doses will be going to the county, while the remaining vaccines will be sent to private providers. ABC7's Rachel Phillips has the latest information on this week's vaccine rollout. Even though everyone aged 16 and above can register for the vaccine, Judge Samniego said the priority will still be for seniors or those with an underlying condition. But everyone should still make the most of the opportunity to register. We apologize if there's a delay. Uh, but the sooner you sign up, the sooner you're going to get it, the sooner we're going to have that uh, herd immunity that we're looking for. Right now, there are more than 300,000 on the list. But Judge Samniego told ABC7 they're realizing a lot of people have registered twice and some have already gotten the vaccine. And even though the demand is still higher than the supply, there's hope that that will change in the coming months. Uh, we were told by, you know, from the federal uh, government that there'll be a time when there's going to be more more vaccines than people taking it. And I'm going, when is that going to happen? Because that would be an exciting uh, time. At the moment, the city is seeing an average of 10 to 20 percent of no shows, but they want to ensure everyone that the vaccines are still being used. We don't actually draw the doses until people are on, on site. So we haven't had to waste any vaccines at all because somebody didn't show up. It's because of methods like this that El Paso is. Way ahead. If you look at our numbers compared to any numbers in the county in Texas, we're way ahead. If you compare us to any uh, across the country, we're way ahead. But they're committed to doing even better. We're ready for about 65 to 70,000 a week. Uh, but we're not getting that amount. Judge Samniego told ABC7 he wants people to know there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And as more people get vaccinated, it will only start to get brighter. Rachel Phillips, ABC7.